Hi guys, so welcome back to SCMPE MCQs. Now this subject, whether you call that as SCMPE or you call that as SCPM, our attempt is to be making this paper simple for you. And that is why we all are putting all the MCQs which are there in the module uh, on our YouTube channel. This will ensure that every possible MCQ is all covered. That is one thing. Second, there are many MCQs that are coming in BOS, Board of Studies portal. We are going to be covering that also completely, each and everything, whether there are 2000 of them or whatever, with proper explanation like that is there for these MCQs. This is chapter number one, introduction to SCMPE. So let's see whatever is the MCQ today. Just before we all continue, request you all to be joining our Telegram channel. That gives you all the updates for this subject. We are only doing this subject for CA final and we want to be ensuring that everything that is there as part of your curriculum is given to you all. And that is why in our complete course, everything is done, whether it is your theory or it is your practical or it is your MCQs, every little thing, even the model test papers are covered up in our complete course. We were the first one in India to be completing self-paced course, completely new, no lectures borrowed from the old course, everything taught fresh. Let's start MCQ for today. So the technique of management by wandering about, okay? The technique of management by wandering around, is concerned with which of the following leadership aspects of management accountant? Uh, communication or decision making? So the options are first, both one and two, it is concerned with communication and decision making. Okay, second, only with one, that is communication. Okay, and then you have only two, and then you have in this case none of one and two. So before we all do this, what do you mean by management by wandering around? Now, there are many styles of leadership. Just before I continue, in case you want to be commenting, you know the answer. Okay, this is a time for you all to be commenting below, please. You can pause the video over here, comment and then continue. Okay, so let's do this. What is management by wandering about? Now, different leaders have different styles. No two leaders will be having the same style here. Tim Cook had a different style. Steve Jobs had altogether a different style. Steve Jobs is known to be like, you know, a person who gets angry at every small little things. He wants his work to be done. Tim Cook was known to be like, you know, a person uh, who headed Apple after uh, Steve Jobs. But was basically like, you know, a good manager. He knew how to get people together, try to uh, smoothen up the business up and so on. Okay. Management by wandering around is a technique whereby the boss, it could be the CEO, it could be anybody, it could be the immediate boss of many employees, makes unplanned visits to like, you know, the factories or offices whereby the people are working and communicates with them. Is everything going on fine? This helps him to get the status of whatever is a work that is going on. Also helps like, you know, in the employees giving a feedback about many things like, you know, sir, this thing is not proper. This thing is good. This thing needs to be improved, sir. Okay. We are not being treated properly by our immediate bosses. All those things. This is management by wandering about whereby like, you know, many CEOs in this world have adopted this technique because they are sitting at a very high position. And they might not be immediately able to know what are the problems like, you know, that lower level people are facing. This helps them like, you know, to go around and try to find out what is the problem. Like, you know, this was whatever was done by our old rulers also. I don't know you all know or not, but many rulers in past, many Hindi, uh, Hindu rulers in past, like, you know, they used to dress as a common man and go like, you know, among the people and try to like, you know, ask them what are the problems that are going around up and so on. Okay. That is the rule good or not all those things. So, <clears throat> few advantages that you're going to be getting. Improve communication channels. Obviously, employees would like to communicate to you because you're reaching out to them. Okay. Second, improved employee relationship. Your relationships with employee will obviously improve because they'll start to be thinking that our company takes care of us. Our words matter. Our feelings matter. Okay. Improve focus on the core. Now, every company will have some kind of objectives. Once you do this entire thing, employees will obviously feel the need to give more to the company. Fourth, improved effectiveness. 
obviously the working productivity efficiency of the workers usually improves whenever the bosses follow this kind of a technique but then of course there are some kind of disadvantages also it's a time consuming it's a time consuming process so again it emphasizes and strengthens the voice of the employees what what do you mean by that okay see suppose like you know a employee is not uh, satisfied with say the treatment that he gets or suppose like you know he is not satisfied with the wages that he gets and if you are a leader who reaches out to this employee and employee tells you all these things so the wages are very less we are not treated properly the food is not very good now it will become your moral duty to be rectifying these problems and if you do not rectify then obviously employees can start to be going for strikes also they can start to be thinking once we told all, all our problems to you at least you should try to rectify them yaar the third problem implementation sometimes can be complex can be complex means like you know what to be talking because if you talk too softly to them it might become a problem okay if you're too hard in any case the purpose is lost so we exactly don't know like you know that what kind of words will make a difference okay but in any case our question was this now management by wandering around is a communication technique it has got nothing to do with decision making as such this is a informal way of communicating with your employees so therefore out of the four answers i guess the answer should be that management by wandering about uh is going to be dealing with communication part of leadership so answer should be b over here yeah that's the correct answer I'll see you all next time in another MCQ. Take care, guys. Bye.